Hi, my name is Troy Haskett, aka Captain Shooting Fish. One thing I want to go over a little bit about today is something that's coming up in sport, and that's bow fishing. A lot of people think that setting up a bow for bow fishing is the same as setting up a bow for hunting deer or moose, elk, whatever, and it's just not the same. Uh, you have to take into account a little bit on the setup for the refractory of the light, the water, the depth, the fish, how big the fish is, because a lot of people think when you go bow fishing, it's the same thing of, even though it's instinctive shooting, I'm gonna shoot right at that target. And that's just not the case. You're actually aiming lower. So you have to take into account for the depth of water, the size of fish, the bow setup, which if you can eliminate that from the get-go, you're better off. But one thing we're going to do is, I was looking at my my bow just the other day. Uh, the string itself, I might be able to get another gear out of it, but it's starting to get a little worn. I'm going to put another good coat of wax on it. Uh, bow fishing bows, they really need to be waxed quite often uh, because it's a lot of snap shooting. Uh, it's instinctive. You're gonna, you're not gonna get a full draw and hold back. You're actually just gonna be getting on target, boom, and releasing on that fish. Uh, the rest, not the common rest. This is a quick draw rest. There's roller rest, all that. This in account with your knocking position, all play a big factor. We'll show you a little bit of that. All right, I've got the bow already set up in the press. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the foot plate off of the bow for the, the reel. And then uh, we go to put all this back together. I use a little bit of wax just to make sure that the threads stay in. If you don't have a, a bow vise, it's something that if you're going to be working on your bow, you definitely need to have. It's something that is a almost a necessity. All right, just to make sure we're still square up and down, we're going to measure that. And then I also go left and right. I don't like to have it off a little bit. And I am off just a tiny bit right there. All right. Yep. All right. Very good. Okay. We are there. We're set. One thing we're going to do is we're going to check the center shot. Like I said, I have a laser center shot tool that I've purchased off of the internet uh, where this just goes right on to where the foot plate of the reel is. Screws on. And then to make sure that you have the correct setting for this, you have to turn it on and make sure that you're hitting the center of the line. Hopefully by moving this, you'll be able to see that I'm not hitting the line. So I've got to make that adjustment. So we're going to loosen that up. We've got to come back in. And there we're starting to hit the string. And almost to the center of it. Right there. Once we got the center of the string, what we're going to do is we're going to tighten this down so it doesn't move. We're then going to take an arrow. We're going to go ahead and knock it as normal. So it's going to go right in through there. We've got that sitting against. What I do for setting up a bow fishing rig is I have my knock 
on the upside of the knock for the sure reason these shafts are a solid fiber shaft they're fiberglass they weigh a lot because they have to be able to take a lot of impact it puts a lot of weight at the end uh, so therefore they're they're front heavy so if you have just a string loop up here which i've experimented with it doesn't hold you really need to have a knock point brass knock point cinch that down it keeps it from there a uh, buddy of mine uses one finger up two down uh, we've still had to put a brass knock in there for him because it just does not hold so i shoot three fingers down i use the knock point there as a reference so what we're going to do now is we're going to take and we're going to see if this just splits that arrow all the way down you can see, once we get to here, we're starting to come off. And as long as I continue on, the camera will let me. I actually come off of my point right back here. So I'm all the way way off right now I, I lose contact with this I start to lose contact right in here so I've still got a good four inches to go maybe before I actually lose my center shot so we're gonna see if we can't make that adjustment all right and now I'll screw up here we're gonna take and loosen it up and make that adjustment to where that splits the arrow shaft all the way down and all the way through the arrow point now we're back to perfectly center we're going to tighten this back up tighten it all up you can see now we stay right down the middle of that arrow shaft all the way down to the point which is what we want now we know that our center shot is there it's perfect we're in good shape we can carry on to something else um, we know that we've gotten our allen wrench and, and screw tightened down for our quick draw rest we can take this back off and reassemble everything back in place. Uh, I'll be doing this a little bit later for the sheer reason. Uh, I'm going to wax my bowstring. Waxing the bowstring itself is no different than waxing a regular bowstring. Uh, the center shot though, that's going to be the big thing. If your center shot's not on all the way down, it's going to throw your shot off down range and eventually you're going to end up paying the price. Uh, Hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully you've learned something. Uh, again, my name is Troy Haskett. And if you've got any questions, shoot me an email if you want.